<laughs> Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters, live to tonight on, on YouTube. So we, we've got a special guest tonight, Speed Racer. <laughs> and, oh, the, uh, and, and the usual cast, uh, Anna and Christian and uh, myself, Lucas, so... Up. Oh boy! Oh geez, is that you? Anna? Hi, Are you gonna play the outro during the episode again? Can, can you not play the episode while while we're doing the episode, Anna? Hey, it wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> wow. So so yeah yeah. If you can mute yourself uh, from being on. How about I just mute you? Wow. Wow. wow, wow. You guys yeah, are fighting right. already? We've been on air for a minute. Jeez. That's right. Yeah. But, so Anna like doesn't even have the figure, so I, I'm not I even sure figure. I'm not I even sure Jack. what she's this doing here. Not even, not even sure what why Anna's even here, so Jeez. the rest of she's us. She's here so. to tell us to get Please. dogs. Go in watch the room. Yeah. She'd be like, Oh, I'm third party elite over here. I only I don't collect those Earthrise figures. Oh, Sean. Plenty of Earthrise Sean figures. Left. Not the bad one. Sean, Sean left. He's like, all right. All right, bye, Sean. So, here Sean we left? Go. Aww. Bye. I'm sure he'll probably. It was a whole lie. So, his kids are probably oh, screaming sure. again. Or maybe he's going to take his helmet off. No, no, he's back. Just his chair. All right, we're so good at this, this you, podcasting thing. We're like freaking pros. So so does anyone actually have the Generations version of Wheeljack? Do you have that, Christian? Not handy, but yes, I do own it. I, I used to. I'm not sure. I, I think I owned it at some point. And then, of course, there's also the um, Transformers Prime version of Wheeljack, too. Do you have that? It usually hangs out on top of one of my Dettols, but apparently I put it away. I bet that orange guy that he got repainted into. That didn't happen. That's like a monster guy. He's orange. Oh, that's a uh, dead end. Yeah. He's like green. He green. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, tonight we're talking <laughs> about uh, Earthrise Wheeljack. So, okay. Boom. pretty exciting, so. That's why I brought a different Wheeljack, so you can all look at it to see a reference of what Wheeljack actually looks like. <laughs> that is not. I think yeah. we're more right than you are. This time. I was going to say, that symbol. actually, that is not He should have an Autobot symbol. Anna, where's his Autobot symbol? If he was a true, genuine Transformer product, he would have an Autobot symbol. That means it's not Wheeljack, it's probably like. Some jacket poo or some knockoff. Yes, jacket poo. <laughs> I was say, at least throw the like masterpiece out there, Anna, instead of the. Oh, that's all the way in the basement. Uh. I would have to go through the floor and then rise back up through the floor mm. to get that. <laughs> Can you do that? Kitty no. Oh, uh, well. Next time then. So I need to build a trap door. He's in vehicle mode. I'm the only one. I think I'm the only one who has him in vehicle mode right now. So I'm Correct, start here. currently, yes. There's a car. Well, I don't know. Sean, he what? is. He what? is flat. Look how flat he is. He's very flat. He very is very wheeljacky. Here, hold on. But he's very cool. Check out all these Tampa graphs. Yeah. The car mode is awesome. Okay, uh, here he is in, in alt mode. Yeah, I, it's basically the MP. Which is kind of cool. I, I'm the paint on the rims here is very good. I like that a lot. Overall, really good vehicle mode. I feel like the the wheels though, the like it's an odd color choice. It's like not really. Hey, it's not back. red. It's kind of like more of a, I don't know, salmon color. I guess. Yeah, it's like salmon color. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's better than just black wheels or bare plastic wheels. No, right, I'm just curious why they went with that instead of just straight red. That they didn't have any red paint laying around. And the uh, Earthrise, that's why. You know, I I am 
I am stunned how close, like, to the MP that the Earthrise is. No, absolutely. Especially it's, in vehicle you mode. Know. Yep. They it's have the really same fun. fists and everything. Yeah, it's just... It's crazy. Well, I think we can see in this example for sure that the Masterpiece toy informed a lot of the design choices for this Earthrise toy instead. Yeah, definitely we, transformation seen, and feet and hands yep. and all kinds of stuff. We've seen a couple of that, like, uh, you know, both Siege and Earthrise Optimus kind of inform from MB10 a little bit. Uh, grapple informs a little bit from Masterpiece Grapple. But this one is... I think much more informed than those other examples I just listed. Yeah, I think so. And it's, that's a good thing. The masterpiece <laughs> is a great toy, and it's you know sixty bucks. This is a really great toy, and it's twenty bucks. Like right. Well, and and masterpiece cars nowadays are more expensive than I mean, like you can get the wheeljack for probably like sixty 90. or seventy bucks, but he's about ninety. Um. Yeah, like the the cars nowadays are creeping up there yeah, over a hundred. So yeah, so you guys really like the vehicle mode and you like the vehicle mode because it has sticker thingies that aren't stickers. Tampa grass? Yeah. Black cats? It has yes. racing decal tampa grass oh. thingies and red tires. You know, that, nope. that's one thing. Um, so I have the Takara version of the Combiner Wars Wheeljack, like Unite Warriors. Um, and, and I like that one a lot. But the the Combiner Wars Wheeljack, I just hated the fact that it like did not have many stickers or tampos on it at all. And like I really felt like you had to buy the Repro label set in order to just make it look at least decent. Yep. Um, I'm glad you did, Lucas, because I bought yours from you. <laughs> you did, yep. Yep. And it, it looks really good with the repro labels on. It does. There is one critique to make of this vehicle mode, and it's the one the thing one that I've really percent. liked. I, it's one thing I've really liked on every other Earthrise vehicle mode, so this one sticks out. It's not clear blue windows. It's this uh, smoky, smoky gray plastic, which looks good. Yeah. I just want it to be clear blue like everyone else. Well, I kind of no, like clear blue clip, just in general. Like, I think it would look has the black. Blue Jumper has Jumper's a black back blue. window and side windows. Yeah, but he's got clear blue translucent plastic. Uh, on yeah, the front. That's easily fixed. <laughs> stickers. Yeah. Then it will. No, stickers won't help it. Stickers. It's just the wrong color. <laughs> they, all, they all need stickers. Uh, just get some clear stickers, Christian. Duh. Yeah, some clear blue stickers, Christian. Yeah, that'll make gray turn into blue. Good, good call, guys. It actually will. Yeah. Work. Yeah, Ooh. you just get the solid. St I mean, you won't be able to see through the window, but I'm I'm sure the yeah. repro labels is gonna or Torax or whatever is gonna be just bright blue. So there you go. It usually does that, yeah. The bright blue with the like kind of cell shading. Yeah. You know, in their defense, Christian, if he had a big blue square on his chest there where that black is, it would really make him off putting. Yeah, maybe that's why they right? do it. Because, I mean, that's basically just a big square. So, I um, do that just, okay. just, to, yeah, just to help him with like blending as far as like not having a big blue square. I don't know. It's totally unrelated. Will Jack has blue on his chest too. It's just really dark. What? <sighs> so, so I will say, like going to to bot mode is like my biggest complaint for the well, two complaints. Randall brought one of them up was that I, I wish the back wings were a little bit like longer um, somehow, yes, and because uh, they're kind of tiny. And then the other thing is is that. I don't really like he ain't the square gonna fly chest. Anywhere, Lucas. <laughs> I, I don't I don't like the square chest as much. Like I wish it was more was somehow rounded a little bit. So I don't know what you guys hmm. think about that. Like this one. Right. Rounded. Yeah, and that's that's like what I said. It's it would be weird if he had a big square blue chest. So Yeah. He would look like he's going to a barbecue. Like gonna be chef at the barbecue. I don't know. 
What is that noise in the background? Is that who is that? It's not me. Oh, it's our it's our guest. Way to go, guest. Yeah, I I think I agree with what you're saying about Rolando. the The chest is kind of square, but Wheeljack is kind of square to me, unless he's in prime. So, mm. yeah. but the wings definitely needed to have been longer. I think there's a third party kit that's already coming out to fix that. Probably Matrix Workshop. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I do like that they painted the underside of the wings, at least. Um, I think that mm-hmm. that was a nice touch. I mean, I think that they look nice. Um, I just... I, and, and I don't know. I mean, with the fact that... The way they did it with the transformation, I'm, I'm not sure how much more they could, you know, make it... How much longer they could actually make the wings. But. Yeah. Yep, but they're on uh, five millimeters, I think. Thing, so you can take them out and then replace them with something new later. Yep. Are you good? I think he needed more weapons because he comes with this thing, which is one of his shoulder launchers. He needed two of these and a rifle. He only comes with this thing. I thought I only had one of those. He does. Like the G1 toy might have two of them, but I know my MP only has one of those. Yeah, I like might have two because ex- exhaust has two. Well, maybe sh- exhaust will have two this time. I, I am sure exhaust is overcompensating. I, I'm sure that they will come out. Someone will come out with a kit, and you can buy extra weapons and upgrades for him. There will be like four different kits to do that. I'm sure. If you want two, just buy two and then put two on them. Yeah, there oh, does have a very. This does have a very specific notch in it, though, so it feels like it was supposed to combine with another weapon that he does not have, because it has, you know, like a hexagonal or octagonal hexagonal port, and then he's got a line that goes down right beneath it, which is unusual, so it feels like it's supposed to go on something specific, but it's not here. Yeah, maybe it was something that got cut at the last minute when they, you know, were... Yep trying to figure stuff out so but i mean i think as far as the figure is concerned though i mean he's he's a really solid uh figure overall like i don't think that the legs like i mean there's there's a gap due to the the transformation but i don't think it's really that bad um just like it's not as bad as the combiner wars unite warriors like gap so Yeah, it's, I don't know, that gap is what puts me off on him. Like, I wasn't going to buy another Wheeljack anyway, because I have two. But I just, I don't know, that gap is just so loud to me in the legs. The arms look good. The arms look very close to the MP. I mean, honestly, I hardly noticed it. Yeah, I was going to say, you barely notice it on it. I mean, there's a lot of figures Mm -hmm. that... Are much worse than than that. I mean, I think they did a pretty I good suppose. job with it overall. Like, I think the fact that they have it like with the windshield coming down, it kind of helps mm-hmm. a little bit fill in fill in the gap a little bit. So, I mean, um, you know, I don't know. Like, it's and it's nice too that he has uh, ankle. Like, just due to the transformation, um, I mean, he's got like a, a ankle tilt and uh, pivot. So. That's good. Both, so... Does he have waist swivel? He does. He can turn it all the way around. He has waist swivel, wrist swivel, head swivel. Yeah, he has wrist swivel. So, yeah, so pretty much ticks good. all He's the... Good, articulation, then. Yeah, he, he ticks all the articulation boxes, so... That's nice. So... I didn't actually really mess with yours when I checked out your Earthrise stuff, because I just, I just wasn't interested in him. Since you already have, I mean, obviously the Iron Factory one is is better, but like the Iron Factory one, I think is a little more expensive anyway. So I think that that was what like thirty bucks. A little more now. Yeah, and, and I smaller. mean the Iron Factory one has Iron Factory shoulders, and that doesn't. So that's almost yeah. an advantage. Yep. True. Yeah, I think it's interesting that they. I don't know. All the Wheeljacks have these hands with the big, like, 
slabs over them these days. The MP mm-hmm. does, this Iron Factory does. Mm-hmm. Smaller on the Iron Factory, MP, that one has MP on. does. Right. Yep. But it's not really the best design <laughs> ever, but it's it's unique. It stands out. I mean, I feel like I criticizing it, that, but, yeah. criticizing on this, it's it's on like every Wheeljack figure. So, oh yeah, I know. It's like, is that that's not something the G one had or anything, is it? I don't think so. I haven't had a G one mm. Wheeljack in so long. Yeah, it's been a long time. Pretty sure he has hands yeah. close enough. So, do you like the head sculpt? Yes. Head sculpt is nice. It's very wheel jacky. That's good. Again, talking about clear blue, I could use clear blue side bits as opposed to the solid silver that it does have. But that's okay. kind of a minor nitpick at this point. I think if they do like a Netflix series for Earthrise, like they're doing with Siege right now. I'd like to see this with the clear blue on the head and the windows here, and I'd like to see this in more of a uh, bright white as opposed to kind of a eggshell color that he is. This is a good color, and the the paint that they used works with it really well, and that's probably why they used the salmon color instead. But again, if they're doing like the Netflix version, I'd like to see it in bright white. So, so I was gonna say, like, if I could get the paint deco that's on the this figure here, with the Unite Warriors mm-hmm. figure, like, I would like that because it's like I, I like the gray face on the Unite Warriors. Um, I like the bright blue um, of the windows and whatnot. And so, I mean, the um, Earthrise is just so much of a better figure, um, but like, I like the deco on this more. So, if I could get this deco on that figure, I, I think I would prefer that. Um, but I also like the new um, MP Plus uh, version of Wheeljack better than the original one as well. So, Can I just say that you guys really, really needed a new Wheeljack? And I'm glad you got one. Because that... This one's fine. That Kinder Wars mold is just... Oh, it's just terrible. Oh, what are you talking about? It's not that bad. I don't like it at all. I like all. the Generations one a lot. I like that the one. The Generations one was fine. But I think people replaced it with the Combiner Wars on their shelves, which was a mistake. I uh, thought both because I had one as a Combiner and one as, you know, an individual. That's better. The Generation one was really stumpy, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. yeah it used the tracks mold, but it yeah, okay. switched up the leg pieces so that you couldn't extend them as far as you could with tracks. Yeah, that's what I thought. I never had tracks, but I had the Wheeljack. I was so excited for that Wheeljack. I remember when it came out. I got that and it. Warp Pop together. It's good times. Botcon 2011. Got it. Oh, I got it at Toys R Us. <laughs> oh, there you go. Man, dating yourself now. So things that don't exist anymore. Yeah. Right? Unless you're in Canada. Unless you're or in the Canada. Future. Or the future. Or the future. Oh. So anyway, it seems like you guys are really happy with it. Yeah. Yep, I like him. He's a he's a good way to finish out that deluxe wave. Lucas has mentioned before that he thinks it's the best wave of or best first wave of deluxe is maybe best first wave of a line we've ever gotten, and I think it's definitely a strong contender. I just want to have a hard time thinking of like one wave that gave us as many like solid figures. And and I think again just because like you said Christian, so many figures kind of evoke the masterpiece um to me. So it's like I you know a lot of those masterpieces I've since sold and I didn't really you know, depending on the masterpiece figure, I don't like transforming them as much. Like, it's like kind of like one of those things where it's like you transform it once or twice and then you're like, all right, I'm good. Whereas like this, I feel like it's like you can just fiddle with it and flip it back and forth. Like this and the Optimus Prime is the same way. And I mean, the grapple, like really all the figures, I just like to, to flip them back and forth. And they're so much fun. Um, and so that's kind of like what I've really just been enjoying that, you know, in addition to the fact that it's, you know, pretty uh, faithful to uh, G1. 
So I'm really hoping for green paints on a lot of this um, Earthrise Wave 1 stuff. What What's this guy going to get repainted as? Exhaust? I think we've heard exhaust as select exhaust. as a room. Okay. But I, would also I have an exhaust slicer. already, don't I? No, I don't. I don't have an exhaust anymore. Hmm. All right. I get that. I would take slicer. That would be really great. And somebody else that I don't know. I guess I could see this being retooled into boss pretty easily. That'd be nice. Or hurricane. Probably hurricane. Yeah, those are all guys that don't have, so it would work. I think Slicer would be really cool. I'd like that. Slicer would be great. We haven't had a Slicer since 2010. Well, we got the one in Prime, 2012. Whatever. Slicer would be great. Listeners, any ideas for They're what saying to be repainted what, what about sure shot. shot? Yeah, that's in the chat. I hadn't heard that. That would be interesting. I'm thinking about it. it I would... think I'd rather this be point blank than sure shot, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. Sure shot is... I'm trying to remember. He's the... The yellow the white bob, tech master. He's yellow. Oh, he's the yellow one. Okay, I'm thinking the wrong one. Point blank is red and blue. Oh no, I'm thinking somebody That's completely cool. different. I'm thinking of um the power master. Getaway. Yeah. I feel like he could be getaway. Maybe. Could be getaway. Yeah, we never got those other target masters. I would like to see those. Um, you know, whether or not they're out of Earthrise molds or older molds, either one. Yeah, yeah Crosshairs right. is a good start. He needs his away. best friends. Right. I, I think I'd pick point blank over sure shot. But wasn't point blank where um uh, didn't we think he was going to use the, uh, who's the mold, the, the Amazon exclusive from Punch last year? Punch. Yes, thank you. Punch. But it's been so long. Although then again, people think that um, that Super Megatron is going to be made out of the old Galvatron mold. So what am I saying? Passage of time means nothing. True. I mean, if you're doing it as an exclusive, so. You know what? Downshift. That's who this is. This is going to be downshift. Yes. It could be. Christian says it, so it, it will be so. I, I can only put my will towards so many things, but you know, this would be a good downshift, or be a good camshaft. But... Or good overdrive. Yeah, I don't remember who half these people are. It's it's a bad day for memories. Okay. Yeah, I guess we think we're getting on the bots eventually, right? Because we get cards. Probably downshift. But again, they're both white, which is you know, an issue. Yeah, we probably will get Omnibots at some point. So. Hopefully. I'm hoping that you can use the cards to predict things because they put a flame war in the card several times. As I was say, they put a couple of different flame wars in the card, so. They did. They did. So I would really like to. Um, I'd like to have a new flame war. Mine is tiny and useless. And perfectly fine, but... They'll they'll just release uh, Flame War in the um, Cyberverse, Anna. So. Oh, I thought you were going to say they were going to release uh, the freaking Moon Racer mold. <laughs> that. Oh, well, that too. That would be even time. better. Oh, my God. They're just going to put out a... They're just going to put Flame War out as that, and then also they're going to put Windblade out as it, just put some weeds on it. Yeah. They, uh, Every every female Transformer looks the same, right? Yeah, right? that's totally. Cool. Yeah, you know, getting very distracted. Striker, though. We're Striker though. Yeah, I hope he does get a repaint that's neat because it doesn't. I mean, like you guys have sold me that it's a good mold. I don't like the legs being hollow like that, but I, I think I wouldn't mind owning that if it wasn't Will Jack. If you don't display your figures with their, you know, inner thighs facing outwards, you don't notice the gap. 
I always do. I always just play them like this, Christian. <laughs> I know you not stand I mean, like you, this. You could probably change that habit, and then it would be better. See, that's how that's how I post my toys. They're yeah. all stand like that. It's just shelves. They all them. stand like that. Yeah. yeah. So don't do that, and it's really fun. <laughs> I usually display. That was like your pose. Not, not a good pose. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody goes to that pose now. So, so go. now that we've reviewed all of the deluxes, which one is your favorite? Like, like where does this one fall in the wave? So jumper, because I own him. <laughs> this is probably two or three. Yeah, two or three. I think Ironworks is what? probably going to be the last one, unfortunately. What? Um, I don't want to my favorites from the wit. I mean, nice. I just, you know, I think, I, I mean, I still think it's really different. good. I just really like all the other ones. Um, I mean, the hoist is really good. The cliff jump, I don't know. Hoist is, I actually kind of might. is number four for me. What's that? Hoist is the four. Hoist is four. Yeah, hoist is like seven for me. Not even, it's not even an option. Yeah, it I, is. It is when you've got those art flaps. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I don't want to hear about the arm They are pretty anymore. fugly. So, um, yeah, I'd probably say I, I kind of like Cliff Jumper the best, and then this is probably number two. That's right. Hoist is probably Cliff three, Jumper and then Ironworks is four. So, yeah, uh, I, 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 transpose I those last two, and that's mine. Well, I would put, I would put Hoist last, and then the I. The only would... weird thing about about Wheeljack are his forearms. They're like super long. So it makes it really kind of awkward, but uh, yeah, that's the only long. thing I don't like about him. No, he looks nice. Yeah. But for uh, 2163 out the door, I mean, I, uh, he's perfect. So yeah. I worry so much about, um, about us liking this so much, though. Like, what is that going to cause? Like, if this becomes... Like, if people know, if Hasbro and Takara know that we think this is the best of the wave, are they going to be like, hmm, how many small things can we make? Yeah, they're already doing it to Voyager, so... I I as, mean, as, honestly... As long as they balance it out, because, I mean, Hoist is a Voyager, basically, and Cliff Jumper is obviously a really cool Legends class, and then you got... Two solid deluxes. Yeah. So it balances out. I think I think they're doing it by shipping weight of the case as far yes. as price points. And in the same time, I mean, honestly, if you're gonna get you know, a really solid figure, like the the cliff jump is really solid. It has some really good accessories. I don't mind, you know, paying that, but I mean again, like the uh, the third party legends figures are like freaking fifty bucks now, so I mean, I'll gladly pay 20 bucks for a well-painted, you know, like, stylized figure with good accessories. So no, I think you're right, because I, I, I'm just going to say it on this show, because people probably aren't expecting me to say anything, but I've been kind of thinking that the Legends have gotten too expensive for me now. Oh, man. Like, they're just so, they're just too high. I am shocked. It just it just doesn't feel right. It's those new age figures. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the Magic big. Square and New Age have really just w have went up in price. Like, honestly, I think Iron Factory has been pretty consistent with their pricing. They have, um, but you know, they don't have the same level of articulation as as those other figures, though. So, but then recently, I saw that that MFT Astro Train, which you remember when we reviewed. Um, Siege Rise to Astro Train, I basically said, I'm going to wait for the MFT. That thing's going to be $35. And then you have all these $50 New Age Seekers on top of that, and it just doesn't feel right. So I'm, I might I might get jaded on Legends. Uh-oh. I'll come back and buy more of this junk with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> or just skip over straight to Cyberverse. 
So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm talking. Cy- Cyberverse. Uh, so so the Cyberverse Warrior class are only like twelve bucks at Walmart. So I don't like those. It's like the boxes. <laughs> so I can just go buy old stuff if I get a Jones in for toys. Yeah, you can do that too. So I'm gonna uh, go buy this freaking alligator knockout I never knew existed. I'll uh, I'll sell you, you some figures. Crockout? Oh, Crockout's great. No, I didn't know about it. I have to go get it because it's amazing. Oh, man. It has yeah, Beast too. Hunters was a uh, fun line. The uh, <clears throat> the Ratchet's really cool, too. Wheeljack's kind of... I thought of one more thing to uh, say. Oh, Wheeljack is the best in the Beast Hunters line. No. He has I thought much one more thing going to on. say about this Wheeljack. And as good as this Wheeljack is, we all agree that's very good. I would trade it in an instant for Cybertronian Wheeljack. I wish they could yeah. do Cybertronian modes through the Earthrise. Nah, I like, never seen before. I like the G1s I would, better. I would take Wheeljack in the box in, in a second. Absolutely, no questions asked. Me too. Uh, that would be something new. I'd really like to see that. Mm. It would be, no, be cool. I want a box, Jack. Alright. Um... Well, tomorrow night we are going to have Ouch My Wallet, so check that out. That's going to be on YouTube tomorrow night at 8.30. I don't believe you. So, huh? I don't believe you. I talked to Rob today. This is what he said. I'm going to watch yeah. it So to prove that it's there. That, there you go. So it's Fake news. <laughs> fake news. I'm going to see it, smell it, or whatever. Yeah, and... Uh, I think that's it. So uh, there should be another cut the tape. I think this week, and um, yeah, the right regular show TF Talk News. <laughs> yeah, Rob lies. Um, so yeah. So all right. Well, thanks everyone for joining us, and we will see you next week. Feel free to join us on Discord. Oh yeah, there you go. Thanks, Andy. baby. I'm an advertiser. All right. Bye. 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 Miss you.